Y'all are juniors, right? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah? You Play got it. anything to say about your first day as a junior, Bobby? Um, my first day as a junior feels the same as any other day of school. How about y'all? Well, personally, I have this sensation that um, I feel older than I did last year. It's, it's just, I think... It's a really moving experience for us all, and I definitely, definitely, it's gonna, it's gonna be another year of school. It's definitely, yeah, definitely another, another year of school. school. It's gonna happen. I'm sure. Of it. One step closer to getting what about you, Caleb? Any thoughts? I agree with Mac wholeheartedly. You it feel, a, you feel older. Yes, I'm old, and it's another year of school. Gotcha. I think our class is gonna be much more mature this year, and we're going to behave and just be in line. And I definitely think our classes are going to be different than last year. <laughs> it's not going to be like last year at all. We will have different classes, definitely. So yeah. Very much so. Almost Probably like classes that are a little harder than last year's maybe. classes. Maybe. In fact, it's almost like our teachers are different people. Summer really did change them. <laughs> Well, I think that is true in some cases. Hey, um, so Bobby, if we have any problems this year, can we show you this video and remind you that there's not supposed to be any more troublemaking? Um, I, yes, ma'am. <laughs> I mean, you, there's the, there will be no need. There will be no need if, if to review need arises, this statement. If the need arises, it could be a possibility that this video could re-enlighten me, but there will be no need for the re-enlightenment. Re-enlighten, that's a great word. I think disciplinary action might be taken on someone throughout the course of this school year. Not necessarily in our class, but perhaps somewhere in the world, in the school, perhaps even the world. That's your prediction for this school year. Okay. And Caleb, do you have any predictions for this school year? I predict that we might know we will have a test. Whoa, predict. Wow. That's a good word, man. I <laughs> mean, the level of philosophy that you guys are learning here at Covenant oh. is just superb. Gee, thanks. Right? I actually read Emerson over the summer. You did? And Covenant influenced me to read it. Well, what did you learn from Emerson? Um, I, I read a book called Self-Reliance uh-huh. by him, and I really learned that you should not imitate others but you should um you should be yourself because like William Shakespeare he didn't have to imitate someone else he was William Shakespeare and um Isaac Newton was Isaac Newton and all the greatest people were themselves and to be great you have to be yourself just like Bobby Bishop is Bobby Bishop right exactly right all right sounds good so. any other comments before we you should hear back here Zach. Yeah. Yeah. You've been kind of quiet. Yes, I am. I'm a quiet guy. You're a deep thinker, right? Yes. Oh, thanks. Penny for your thoughts. What are you doing? Just a penny. Just one penny. Yeah, it's only a penny. Oh, it's okay. I got a prediction. Oh, oh, prediction. We'll have more than one test. What? Oh, okay. Wow. It came to me. I thought about that. That's deep. Yeah. Well, That's yeah, deep. Penny for his thoughts, but I'll give you a quarter for yours, Caleb. <laughs> well, um, my thoughts exactly where you said is awesome. Oh, uh, never mind. I take that back. I think you're awesome, Caleb. <laughs> okay, juniors. We'll see y'all later, all right?